This is the dupe that we've all been waiting for from Alter Ego, a dupe of the Natasha Denona Yucca Palette. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia. Here on my channel, I love all things affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, palette reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, I think a lot of people suspected or were hoping that the next Alter Ego dupe palette would be a dupe of the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. And before anyone wants to tell me I'm mispronouncing it, Funny story. So I thought maybe this was a tomato tomato situation when the Yucca palette came out because I heard most people were pronouncing it Yucca. That just didn't sound right to me. So I was pronouncing it Yucca. I continued to do that. And here recently, someone on TikTok decided to get frisky with me and call me out on my pronunciation. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like look it up and see how you actually do pronounce this. It's Yucca. I was correct. So. Pat on my back. Anyway, this was a beloved palette from 2023. I loved it myself. I think it is possibly my favorite Natasha Denona palette I own. If not, it's a definitely in my top two. Everyone just fell in love with this color story that it's kind of this swampy, grungy, earthy, safari looking color story that's really, really flattering on a lot of different skin tones. And then I know some people were hoping that Alter Ego would do that next. And they have with the Wild Wood palette. Now, this cover I think is so pretty. I honestly kind of, even though it is cardboard, it's a very sturdy, thicker cardboard. It doesn't feel cheap. And I kind of prefer this, this cover because I just think it's so, so pretty. So here is the inside. And I'm actually going to go ahead and hold up both here and show you them side by side. And I will tell you, I prefer the layout of the Alter Ego palette. So they have the shimmers on top and then go down into the matte shades, whereas they're sporadically placed in this palette. And let me just do a little switcheroo to make sure that I'm being fair with the lighting here because the lighting's kind of cutting in where these look a little bit shinier on the left than the right side. But just initially looking at them, I do see that the Natasha Denona looks slightly more metallic, a little bit more sparkly, but I have to say, I just shot the Wild Wood, I keep wanting to call it Wildflower, the Wild Wood palette outside in early morning sunlight, and it sure did sparkle. So I am very excited to test this formula out. I think it looks beautiful. Me being a lover of the Yucca palette, at least I can say color story-wise, it's a hit for me. But I definitely wanna compare the formulas, and I plan on doing two looks individually with the Wild Wood palette. And then the third look, I want to do a comparison where I will use the Yucca on one eye um, using similar shades and then use the wild wood. Now also looking at these, it may be hard to tell here, but it looks to me like the mattes in the wild wood palette are slightly deeper. Um, it, it may be difficult, but you can see the blue, this one's a little bit deeper. The kind of rusty tone, you see how it's deeper in the wild wood. Um, even the green is a little bit brighter in this one. So I don't know if it'll show up the same way on the eye. The mattes in the um, Alter Ego palettes tend to be a little more of a buildable formula, not quite as pigmented off the gate like Natasha Denona. So I don't know if that was in their, their mindset of making these deeper to where they're gonna be about equal once they get on the lids. We will have to see and do the comparison, but I will tell you guys that this palette is available on Thursday. It will be $22. It is um, magnetic. Again, they've gone to all magnetic palettes now, so you can rearrange this to look just like the Natasha Denona if you want. I really, really like this layout better. And then you can also get 10% off if you use my link, which is affiliated, and that will be in the description. So you would get this for just under $20. But let's go ahead and get into this palette now and create some looks. All right, so I did go ahead and go in with their primer. I've used their eye 
primer before and I kind of struggled with my look that day. And so I switched to a different primer and I didn't struggle. So I've only used it once. I'm gonna attempt it again because I'd like to see if it was just that day or not. Hopefully that won't affect this look. I'm also gonna use some of their eye brushes. This came in a set. I do have the face brushes as well, but for today, we're just gonna use these eye brushes. All right, so this brush is the number five brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Honey right down here, this kind of murky, swampy green. And I'm gonna place that right here in the inner portion of the eye. I definitely want to go in with the brighter green um, afterwards, just a little bit more inside. But here lately, I've kind of found that if I, if I almost go backwards with my shades, like if I go in with my kind of mid-tone first, and then go in with to deeper, and then I go back with the, the lightest. It just seems to blend really nicely. This pigment is really, really good. Honestly, this pigment does remind me of Natasha Denona Matte. This is definitely more pigmented than the last palette um, that I was using, the Dream Gaze palette. It's the pastel palette from Alter Ego. Of course it is pastel, so inherently it's going to be less pigmented, but those I had to really, really, really build up. This is pigment right out the gate. Okay, I really wasn't expecting that much pigment, so I'm getting excited now. Okay, I'm gonna go in with pollen, and that is sort of like a khaki green. These tones are so delicious to me. I, I want to say, I'm, I'm pretty sure, that whenever I was doing my Yucca palette video and review, that I was calling this like baby poop. <laughs> I know, real sophisticated of me, but I can't help it. It's, it's just what it reminds me of. I don't want to like gross anyone out, scare them from my channel, but it just, it reminds me of like, I don't know if they eat peas and we'll just end it there. But it's funny that a shade like that can look so pretty on the eyes because even like the shirt that I'm wearing, and yes, I planned it out. You guys are used to that by now. I have this compulsion where I have to really coordinate my clothes to my looks. But um, back in the day, I would have thought this color was so ugly in clothes and shadow, but now I think it's beautiful. You guys, I am so happy with these mattes, the way that they blend. Oh my goodness, they blend so, so nicely. Like reminding me of the Yucca palette. I'm not even kidding. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Zest, that brighter green. And we're just gonna put that right in this inner portion. Oh, that would be so pretty as an inner corner, just instead of doing a shimmer. I'm gonna bring it down as if I might do that, but I mean, most likely I'll put a shimmer there, but I can just layer it. It's just so, so, so pretty. And this is, I was kind of wondering, I'm like, all right, is the brighter shade going to be harder to build up? Is it gonna be more like a pastel? No, it has pigment. Like it's really, really bright. By the way, you guys, me and lighting just always struggle. So obviously I'm in this space right now and okay hold on while i'm speaking i'm gonna go in with the shade oak the deeper kind of brown shade so a lot of you have expressed that you just prefer this lighting um, and i do as well and i kind of steered away from doing my videos in here because so we own a gaming trailer for those that don't know like a mobile gaming trailer where we bring it to you for like a birthday party, um, local events, things like that. And a lot of the times games need to be updated because um, they're, you know, online games are constantly getting these updates. So the trailer it runs on a generator and it has to be on and updating and it makes the loudest noise. And 
it's we park it in our driveway so um a lot of times it's going and it's just too loud for me to do my videos here anymore it's currently gone working a party so i was like you know what let me do my my video here it's been a long time since i did an eyeshadow video in this space of course my kids are home so you can hear them in the background <laughs> And the time of day I'm doing this, I feel like the lighting is kind of washing things out. So I feel like I'm kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't. No matter where I go, um, finding the right lighting is kind of a struggle. But I appreciate you guys like understanding that, staying with me, um, still appreciating the looks. Okay, so we've got our shimmers. Okay, let me go ahead and put on my fingers. We have Lush. We have Golden. We have awe we have ray speaking of loud noises trucks i always say i'm in texas so expect trucks to drive by and be really loud Ooh, and then we have thrive oh thrive is so pretty so let me go ahead and just put these on the hand see how they swatch these are beautiful these are really 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 pretty nice and reflective okay so i think i'm going to go with thrive and i'm gonna pop that right here okay we're getting some nice glowy shine here maybe not as impactful as the Natasha Denona, but still really pretty. And mind you, this palette is $40 cheaper, roughly. So for $40 cheaper, I do think that is super, super pretty. Then I think I'm gonna go with Golden. It's a little bit brighter. Oh yeah, that is really pretty too. Oh, I'm so happy that these are like showing up and they're not super dull. Really pretty. Oh, I kind of just like the green matte inner corner, but I think let's go with lush and just pop it pretty 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 on top of the green it kind of makes lush a little bit greener than it is by itself when you pop it over that bright green mat really really beautiful Okay, I'm gonna finish up this eye. I'm gonna do lashes, liner, and lip, and then I'll show you the final look. All right, you guys, oh my goodness, the lip and lashes really, really made this look. I think it is so stunning. By the way, if you guys notice the camera flip, you're not going crazy. Um, I did that because if I don't have the mirror flip on, then the writing on the palettes will appear normal, but my face is always off. So if you've ever thought that I'm not symmetrical, it's because of how the camera is reflecting. And then if I turn the camera flip on, my face looks normal, but the writing is backwards. So just a little side note if you notice the flip, but you guys, I am really, really, really impressed and really excited. So I did put on this um, liner. I actually can't tell you what this is yet. I just realized this hasn't been revealed yet, but this is something brand new. You will see it in a video on Thursday, a brand new brand being launched. Um, then we have the lip. This is Propa Beauty, one of my favorite lipstick brands. This is the shade Believe It. It has an ever so slight green tone to the brown. So I thought it would go well with the look. And then the gloss, this is a glossed by Sephora Collection. Highly recommend these glosses. This is this shade Strut and it has a little green reflect to it. So just popped that, but you guys, I'm very impressed. I don't think that she would know. I mean, I am gonna compare the two, the Yucca and the Wild Wood, but I think I could say this was Yucca and everyone would believe it. I think these performed 
so much better than I was expecting. So super, super excited. But now next day, look number two. All right, you guys, I'm excited to dig into look number two. And I did forget to update you guys that I did use the primer on that last look and I didn't have issues. So I'm wondering if it really was just me the first time. So I did go ahead and put it on my eyes again today. <clears throat> but today I'm gonna go in <clears throat> with the kind of warm reddish brown tones. Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with the shade Amber. And Amber is one of those shades that has the formula that I do not really like from Alter Ego. Um, it is this shade right here. It's the one that, it's this kind of weird it, a satiny matte that, I know that they do it because Natasha Denona also has this formula in her palette but I don't love it with Natasha Denona either. I just wish that she'd stop doing it. Um, there's only two of those in this palette this time. And it, it's fine. It just, it doesn't pick up as well. It swatched actually really nicely. I don't know if maybe it's a brush issue. Like maybe I haven't quite found the right brush to use. I'm thinking, let me just test it. I'm gonna grab this Alter Ego number eight, this flat brush. I'm gonna see if it needs a flat brush instead. I mean, there is quite a bit of pigment on this because they don't always have the best pigment, this formula. It is picking up. It's this kind of squishy formula. I like it better in this palette than other palettes. It at least, it does at least pick up and has decent pigment. So I'm going to not, I'm not going to knock it too much since it's performing pretty well, but it's still just not my favorite formula. Okay. Then, and like I said, there's only two of those in here, I believe. So next I'm going to go in with citrus. This kind of warm, orangey, ooh, I like that. See, I don't know, I just, there's such an ease with this regular matte in here that I just prefer. I love these two shades together. I think it's so, so pretty. Okay, next I think I'm gonna go in with this moss shade. It is more of a green khaki, but I didn't use it. I don't think I used it for my first look. If I didn't, I'm really not sure why I skipped it, but I'm just going to work that in to the outer lid, just up into the crease a little bit. Yeah, I like it. It turns kind of murky without being muddy. There's a difference in my opinion. Like murky looks like it's intentional and it still like blends in nicely. And then muddy just looks sloppy. It looks like you either don't know how to apply your makeup or the, the shades don't layer nicely but I'm liking what this is doing with that citrus shade. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Oak, which is that deep brown that I did use for the first look. I just really like this for deepening up the outer lower lash line. But then I'm going to come in with a little gradient and go in with the shade Trail in the inner portion. Okay, let's see what trail looks like real quick. Ooh, I like that. Trail has that kind of, almost like when dirt has that red kind of hue to it, where it's not red, it's just like a really warm looking dirt shade. Mm -hmm, I like that. 
Okay, for shimmer, I think I want to go in with Ray. This one right here. By the way, I'm missing a nail. <laughs> I need to glue it back on, on each side, the same finger. You've probably already noticed, but I thought I would just call it out. Ooh, okay. The shimmers in here are really, really nice. It's funny because at the time that I'm filming this, they have revealed the cover and pretty much everyone is guessing that it is a Yucca dupe. And I had a friend message in the DMs asking about the shimmers because she didn't really love the quality of a different alter ego palette, the shimmers. And I was like, no, these are, these are really, really good. Like probably the best that I've tried from them so far. That is so pretty. All right, for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with blush. That's pretty. They all definitely have that green. All the shimmers, um, except probably awe, have like some sort of green reflect to them, just a little bit different in tones. So they all go together really, really nicely. But that's a beautiful inner corner. Okay, you can really see that pop on this eye, so, so, so pretty. I think we are looking so good here. So I'm gonna do lashes, liner, and wrap up look number two. All right, so I'm back. Here's what we're looking like. The lighting's so much better now. I think this look is super, super, super pretty. In the lower lash line, I actually used something, again, I can't show you guys yet, um, but again, you will see a video with this brand, this new brand on Thursday. So stay tuned, but this is a shadow stick that I love putting in the lower lash line. Spoiler, but you don't know what brand it is yet. Watch Thursday. Um, then for the lipstick, I actually have a Katkin lipstick. So these lipsticks are so, so, so pretty. Just look at this. Look at that detail. Stunning. The shade is C10. There's not a shade name, but they are just a work of art. It was like a little bit, slightly, just a little too deep. So I used a gloss to kind of cut the depth of it. And I used the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Stone. So really, really beautiful look. Super, super impressed again. Tomorrow, I'm definitely going to dig into the kind of teal color. Um, definitely use the shimmer, and I'm going to also compare it to the Yucca palette tomorrow on each eye. So, look number two, though, gorgeous. All right, look number three. I think I'm going to go in with pollen first here. I think this will be a nice one to transition into the bluer shade and see see if they do in fact blend together. And then I'm also going to go in with Yucca and find the correlating shade in there and compare. Okay, so then let's grab Yucca. And, okay, I think it's Tipu. Is the similar shade. And it's just ever so slightly lighter, a little bit brighter. This is a little bit more of like a smashed peas shade. This has a little bit more yellow tone to it in the Natasha Denona palette. Whereas this one's just a little bit more green, but they are very, very similar. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Stream, which is this kind of blue-green. I'm also not getting a ton of kick up I've noticed in the Wild Woods palette. And I wanna say in some of their other palettes, there was a little bit more of a kick up in the pan. 
but these don't have a ton of fallout. And this is very, this is really pigmented. And it is blending nicely into this other shade. Okay, now that Natasha Denona, I'm going into the shade Willow. And I do also have to make a note that my left eye is always a little bit harder to do um, as far as it looking really nice and blended on the outer portion because I have a, a prominent vein that sticks out. So there's always like one little spot that looks a little bit funky. So even with that, I still think this looks really good. These are very, very, very similar, these shades. And honestly, even though it looks bluish in the pan, surprisingly, it really doesn't pull that blue on me. And I say surprisingly because a lot of times greens will pull blue that don't even look green in the pan. And then this one looks kind of blue, but it's it's really not pulling blue on me. It's kind of that's kind of an enigma. But um I might be having a tiny bit harder time blending this side than this side. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. There's like a muddiness right here that's like not blending quite as nice. And I didn't have that issue with the alter ego side. All right, for lower lash, I'm gonna take Moss in alter ego. Lay that down on the outer portion. And then I think I'm going to go into citrus. Oh, <laughs> I haven't even pointed out. I have like no nails left. I started taking them off because I think I want to put on a different pair for an event that I have tomorrow night. I say that and then I probably won't even get it done, but I started to take them off and a few weren't quite ready yet. So <laughs> I have my thumb on this one and then three on this hand. It looks crazy, but okay. Now let's go in with citrus. I love the citrus shade so much. I just think it's so pretty. I love how these blend, these shades blend together so well. Okay, now let's do the Natasha side. All right, on the Natasha side, it looks pretty, pretty different. This is the shade, it's A-C-A-C-I-A, Cassia, Cassia. It's very, very different. Um, hold on, let me just show you guys the two. So, okay. We have moss, really deep green, and then the deepest green here is this one. So they've definitely changed that, made this deeper, which I might actually, like that I do like this shade in Natasha Denona a lot, but it's a really, really pretty shade actually. But I do kind of see how this one just adds more depth. That might be the two that are the most different. Um, then their version of the reddish orange is it's i x i a <laughs> i'm not sure so this is much brighter as you can see so that seems to be the biggest difference in the two palettes as far as the mattes is that there are deeper tones in the alter ego okay now for shimmers so the shade 
And we're gonna put that right here. It's kind of a taupe shade. I think it's kind of interesting, this shade in here, because all of the other shimmers that I showed you have more of that green. And then this is that kind of like silvery taupe. And I do think that it works, even though there's really not a matte that directly complements this shimmer. I do think that the contrast is really pretty. Okay, that shows up nicely. And then now for the Natasha Denona, the shade is Elysian. Elysian. I'm gonna pop that on. Not a ton of difference. Maybe ever so slightly shinier, but I mean, I would not say a $40 difference in the two. It might shine just ever so brighter, but this side is still really good. Okay, for inner corner, I'm gonna pop Golden from Wild Woods. Keep wanting to call it Wildflower, Wild Woods. Okay. All right, the lighting always shows the side a little bit brighter anyway, but we're still going to compare the two. So Ray will be the correlating shade in the Natasha Denona. Okay, these are pretty similar. They're very, very, very similar. Okay, honestly, not a ton of difference. All right, I'm gonna put lashes liner on, lip, and we're gonna wrap up and talk about all my thoughts on Wildwood. All right, so here we are lashes liner on. I put my lashes on a little bit wonky on this side, so they're not as like flared up as this side. So I hope that doesn't throw it off too much and make the look look different. But on the lower lash line, I have the multi chrome liner from Mora. This is the shade Flare. And then for the lip, we have Beauty For Real. These are their plumping glosses. At first I put this one on and I just thought it was too light for the look and this is turned on. So then I layered Rebel Rebel. I love these. These are so, so good by the way. But let's go ahead and talk about the difference in these two and how I think they compare. You guys, I don't think anyone would know the difference of these two looks. I really, really don't. Um, so like I said, the main difference that I see is that the mats in Wild Wood, it's just, they're just a little bit deeper, a little bit um, richer even, and they're brighter in the Yucca palette. So quality though, blendability, I didn't really see a difference to be honest. And then shimmers, fairly equal, maybe slightly shimmer and brighter. I mean, I didn't compare the um, three of the shimmers in here to these, but the two that I used, very, very, very comparable. So honestly, you guys, if you missed out on Yucca, or if you just don't like to spend that much on a palette, but you always liked the color story, absolutely, absolutely recommend this from Alter Ego. And I've said before about Alter Ego that some of their other palettes, I'm like, it's great for the price. I'm glad that it's available for those that don't want to spend money or even for like beginners in makeup. This is just legitimately good. And it so happens to be $22. And then if you use my affiliate link, you get the 10% off. So $20 for this palette's nuts. I'm so impressed. I loved all three 
of my looks. And then again, I just, I don't think you would know the difference between these two here. Very, very, very happy with this. This does launch on Thursday in the morning. I think it's like 11 a.m. somewhere around there. I don't know that it'll sell out or not, but um, if you want to save 10%, you can use my link. Very, very impressed. So, so, so happy with this palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.